Good afternoon, members of parliament. My name is Ilya Obasa and I'm from Bangsan Girls High School. The aim of our project was to help raise awareness about racism and discrimination and to pr promote inclusiveness within the school community. The question we'd like to ask you today is what strategies or measures can you help schools implement um, in order to prevent the stigma and discrimination that has been going around due to this particular pandemic? So I suppose what your presentation talked about more than anything else is the impact that things can happen. And we've heard other members talk about the impact of words. The best way that you can actually build a sense of inclusion is to include people to make sure that everybody participates, not because we need a particular kid from a particular culture, a particular faith, but that we open everything up for all people. And that once everyone starts to participate, the better we get to know one another, the better it is that we can actually start to create our society. So that's the first point. The work that you do and so many other schools, every school here does some form of charity work. You don't discriminate between who gets it. You just give it to people who are in need. And the nicest thing about that is that everybody works, whether you're selling lamingtons or, you know, we see people selling roses on Valentine's Day or whatever fundraising you're doing. You bring everybody in together. And I think the journey is the really important one. Now, Bankstown is one of the most multicultural parts of New South Wales. And the nicest thing about it is people look beyond somebody wearing a hijab or somebody who eats using a chopstick or somebody who wears a turban or somebody who's got a First Nations background, somebody who's got an Anglo background, they look beyond that and what they see is the individual person. And when we focus on the individual person, then that's how we start to see beyond what they may look at as an identity. And that's how we actually create not only opportunities, but create a better understanding. And in doing things like this, we create a better understanding because, you know, there are kids from Orange who are now learning about kids from Bankstown and vice versa through these sorts of programs. So the best policies are the ones that aim to include people not just so we can tick a box, but that everybody who's, say, sitting in that assembly hall can see someone who looks like them, who sounds like them in a position of leadership, in a position of influence, and in a position where they're making a difference.